right, guys, welcome back. And you are back at the right place at the right time. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and smash that like button. Um, it helps the YouTube algorithms to boost the channel. Um, I love making these videos, teaching you guys about cryptocurrency, uh, teaching you how to be your own banker. Check out in my channel. I show you how to earn Bitcoins, free, get free Bitcoins, leave um, your Nano wallet address. I'll send you some free Nano. I even do some videos on how to get some free dinner, pizza. <laughs> but browse my channel, check it out, see what you find. Today we're looking at IOTA. IOTA, this is a pretty big crypto that I really find extremely interesting. Hey, for the record though, I am not a financial advisor. Sorry guys. But anyways, this channel is to be used for entertainment and educational purposes, only just kind of filling you in and um, learning about things. So at IOTA, its claim is connecting the human and machine economies. That's all. IOT or IOTA stands for Internet of Things. Um, so basically, it's looking to capitalize on the Internet of Things industry, a token for a new economy. Solve a real world challenge. How do you allow humans and devices to exchange data and services in the future economy? So it's really, um, it, it's crazy technology. So their bold vision, um, no locked investor, no token, no locked tokens, or no early investors, no tokens were awarded to founders. So basically they just gave the thing out. Um, they did like a little faucet and people got it and that was it. Um, this is cool about this token as well. It's a free cryptocurrency or a free fee-less cryptocurrency. So whenever you transact with people, you're doing the proof of work between your device and another um, throughout the Tangled network is what they call it. It's called the Tangle. Um, I'll describe it later in the video. But there's no transaction fees, which is huge. I mean, Bitcoin, when it's in its huge craze, um, back in 2018, some transaction fees were stinking like 70 bucks. I mean, imagine if you're trying to pay for a coffee. I mean, who pays 70 bucks for a cup of coffee? And then whatever the coffee costs, not worth it. Nonprofit foundation, designed for the long haul. I mean, th this crypto is huge. So let's go to the data market. No, ah, here it is. Um, these are a couple of things they're doing. Digital identity. This is huge. I mean, now, before you were transacting with people you don't know, but now you kind of somewhat have an identity that you know who you're, you're dealing with. And so say you're buying something or if you're in, um, let's say, uh, the distribution in industry, you want to make sure the stuff you're buying is legitimately real or is actually what it is, not just some guy just sending it over. And you can actually choose how much data you want to exchange. So you can say, hey, I want to send you a bunch or hey, I don't want to send you any, or you can put a price on it. So instead of Google just having access to everything, you can choose it. Um, they also, so they have holders, which are us, you, and whoever holds it. There's issuers, trusted third parties or authorities that generate and issues credentials to holders such as health records or identity documents. So basically um, how it works is it's like this. It's y you are the, so this is you. You have the banker, you have the person. They, they aren't sharing your information. You choose who gets that information. So if you want them to get the ID, okay, great, here's my ID, you can have it. If you want them to um, have access to your bank, you can get the information from your bank, say here's the information instead of going directly to your bank, which is nice, you have some more control. Um, verifiers, any third parties that need to verify the authenticity authenticity of a holder's data. Jeez, uh, of a holder's data. <laughs> a verifier might, for example, need to validate that the holder is who they say they are. So they have similar things like this. Um, they can go through ZK snarks, which is zero knowledge proofs. So basically an example of this is um, how can Alice get to Bob when um, she told Bob the direction, but it's not easily found. So only Bob would know how to get back.
to where Alice was if he was Bob. Because Bob knows what it is. So some random guy doesn't know how to get back because he doesn't know. Alice didn't tell him. Uh, Alice only told Bob. Sounds a little confusing, but um, it, you can look into a video on ZK Snarks. I'll be making one later as well. Um, so address validation. Customers can prove they live for... Uh, live where they where they live for shipping and billing, age verification, customers can provide who they are and gain access to their account without passwords. So it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, self sovereign identity, regulatory compliance. I really recommend taking a look at this project. Um, it, it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of things going for it. Um, it's a nice website too, which is which is a plus. There's a lot of cryptocurrency sites that uh, they're basically just like fly by night. Um, see, th this is basically control of your data, which is huge right now. So another cool thing I was looking at uh, that they have going for it is, ah, here it is, connected vehicles. So check out this video. Right here. How interesting is this? So your car has its own wallet now. So you can drive, report weather condition, road conditions. Your car can earn money. So say you have an electric chart or electric car. Now when you go to plug up to go pay for that charger, your car has its own wallet. So it can look rewarded or ought to pay for tolls, parking. It's crazy. Jaguar, yeah, see, Jaguar and Land Rover are currently working with this technology. So that's a little bit about that. And then here's where the smart charging. This is also crazy. So you just pull in, plug it up and go. The video will explain it. We are at the Elad premises in Arnhem, and we are now at the test lab of Elad, which is used for testing charge stations and electric vehicles. This is the world's this first Elon Iota charging station brother. being released today kidding. here in Arnhem. <laughs> What's special about this charge station is that it can do direct payments from car to charger using just a cable. And it, it doesn't require any RFID card or any subscription. It just uses IOTA. IOTA is a cryptocurrency and a protocol. Uh, the cryptocurrency you can think of as is... See, look, I don't even have to give this example. thing at my credit uh, card. I mean, there's broader, some sketchy so things I go to and I'm like, I don't want to give it my credit data card. integrity and data security. Bitcoin is, in this case, not suitable because it requires a lot of fees to do a transaction. See? And IOTA is free of charge, so that's, that makes it great for, for using it in these kind of use cases. And the most unique part here is that you can have real machine-to-machine -machine communication. A car with, it, with its own wallet and the charger with its own wallet, and they do a direct communication and payment to each other fully autonomously. So you just plug in the car and it works. The importance of this charge station is to show that you can use cryptocurrencies and the underlying distributed ledgers to do things like this and to show the capabilities of these technologies and the potential. And the way we envision this is that you also can directly, for example, buy energy from a solar panel from your neighbor. Or in case of some kind of congestion, the charger can ask the car to deliver energy back to the grid and pay for that using IOTA. Of course, we cannot do this on our own. We need others to bring this further, so we would like to... If that's not disruptive, I don't know what is. <laughs> I mean, that that's huge. I mean, they're even working on building a smart city. Um, they're even using this for supply chains. So look, humanly center or human centered design. I mean, you gotta just gotta visit their website, see what they're doing. Um, look at this. See, look, this building has an extra source of income. Hey, let me just sell some of my energy to you because I just have so much. Here. Today at the Powerhouse, what we're demonstrating 
is that using a technology like IOTA, we're able to track the providence of electricity from solar panel all the way to electric vehicle. And then inside the vehicle, we can offer our customers a new option. They can charge Forget be your from own banker. Uh, be your own utility company. Something called mask authenticated messaging, MAM. Using mask authenticated messaging, you can put a message on the tangle that will say where the electricity came from. The vehicle is then able to interpret these messages and decide whether or not or wants to accept the electricity. IOTA was specifically built for the Internet of Things, and the vehicle is a rolling Internet of Things. It also uses fee-less transactions, which is very important in a concept like this. By getting involved, either participating in or getting learnings from smart city projects like City Exchange and this powerhouse building, we're able to take these learnings and figure out what our customers want, how they interact with the cities of the future, and any new services that we need to offer as a car manufacturer. A smart city is, is basically a city that uses digital services or data or technologies to make it easier for people to live their lives in a sustainable way. And, you know... The I mean, if this thing that happened in 2020, I'm not going to say it because I, I guess it's bad for YouTube algorithms, but this thing that happened, if that isn't any idea for where we're going then I don't know what is. <laughs> um, so this is a wake up call. We're going to smart cities. We're going to hands off. We're going to AI, artificial intelligence. We're going to less human interaction. That's just where we're going, guys. This technology is disruptive. Um, I, it, it's, it's futuristic and it, it's, it's very useful. The same technology. way that we now have our smartphones where you have all these kinds of apps and all kinds of services that can make your life easier. So imagine if we could do the same for a city. We can create neighborhoods that are able to generate more energy than we consume. And we want to make sure that these are solutions that can be used by many cities. Involving cities, setting up dialogue, setting up arenas so we can get uh, more sustainable uh, solutions, increase the citizens' involvement, and in the end, create a better city. Because of the laws and the regulations and the, the money system, we can't uh, do this transaction that we want to do. That's why IOTA is a very interesting partner for us, because they are looking into how we can sell and buy data, because that will be an important uh, asset in the in the you see, this is the, it's selling data. So Google, they just get all our data for free. So we just give it to them. Guys, don't give them your data. Use the Brave browser. Um, go on private browsing mode. Use VPNs. Don't give out your data. Your data is, you need to secure that. I mean, it, the more data you give out, the more people you tell, the more things you do on Facebook. I mean, everyone's going to know all about your life and then they're going to try to sell you things left and right. And sometimes it's just nice to have some peace and quiet and not be sold something every single day. Protect your data. Look, this is how, uh, this is a video on how it'll impact the future of supply chains. I mean, they have several videos on this. So this is easy to understand. A cup of coffee to get the day started right is a must for many. But do you ever wonder how the coffee made it all the way to your table? And even if you think you know, how can you be sure it's true? Supply chains are complex systems with many actors involved. At every step in the supply chain, data must be verified before exchange of custody. The ever-growing flow of goods puts our current logistical structure under a lot of pressure. Critical documents go missing. Cargo gets stuck at customs, and agricultural goods deteriorate while awaiting border clearances. Four trillion dollars are lost each year. That is more than the That's entire German GDP going right down the drain. What if we told you all of this is about to change? Introducing IOTA. 
the world's first open source distributed ledger built to power the Internet of Things. By implementing the Tangle, the data structure behind IOTA, a single version of the truth is enabled by logging the entire supply chain onto a tamper-proof distributed ledger. This allows all involved parties to review the what, where, and when of the coffee bean's journey. Smart devices constantly communicate with each other to record and exchange critical logistical data. Effortlessly monitor essential activities, from air temperature to date stamps and GPS locations of shipments on the go. See, look, if someone was trying to like sip, ship sushi or meats or anything, you can tell like whether in shipment it was poorly handled. I mean, right now, all we're just doing is trusting that, hey, the go grocery store kept it in good condition. I mean, I've gone to the grocery store several times and I've bought in... Uh, meat and when I get home I, I find out it's got like mealworms on it or it, it's got mold growing in it I mean look up YouTube videos on it there's other I'm not the only one it's it's nasty um, you, you guys this is crazy technology many companies are already attempting to prove the sustainability and ethics of their products by utilizing the tangle this ambition can finally become reality Imagine a future that's transparent and incorruptible, where each transaction is verified, recorded, and easily accessible in a tamper-proof ledger. Just got in for free with all its a data future where the supply the chain is faster, I'm smarter, kidding. and secure. Join us in create. Yeah, join us. I mean, visit this website, take a look at it, see what you think of it. This is my thoughts on it. This is my opinion. Um, this is not financial advice. Um, take a look at it. This is another cool thing. So this is this is not in beta. This is actually active right now. So this tells you about it right here. Um, See, so launch data mark proof of concept. So this is kind of like a proof of concept thing. So I'm assuming these are like cameras or something. But like I can go here. This is like a streaming device. I can pay one iota to see what's going on over there. I, I'm not really sure what it entails. I haven't played around with it enough. But this is, I mean, normally Facebook just allows you in, for example. But I think we're coming to a future where it's going to be like, hey, you need to pay a Libra token or you need to pay an IOTA token or pay something to access the site. I think it's going to come to the future where we're starting to pay for data because data is valuable. Here's just some of their uh, partners that they have. I mean, look, they got T-Mobile, uh, Bosch. That's huge. These are big companies. They got Philips. Oh, that's, I mean, that's huge too because Philips is in your bathroom. Brush your teeth, um, mirrors, lights, everything. This That guy's in your house. That's huge data. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, visit the website. See what you guys think of it. Um, this is just an introductory uh, video, kind of get an understanding of it. Um, here's the Tangle. So how you can explain the Tangle is it's literally, it's like a Tangle. Well, first let me show you the roadmap. So here's the roadmap. This is what they're currently doing. So they're making stuff happen. Um, this is where they're at right now. This will show you about the project if you want to see it. It will tell you everything about it. Uh, where they're at they, these are just different names for it but basically talks about this uh, it tells you about it and what it is and when it's going to be complete so you guys can browse it see the time frames um, yeah just take a look there's a quick brief intro where is the tangle so I want to so let's see I'm going to show you a iota tangle visualizer so this is what the tangle would look like so yeah here this is a good example it's pretty brutal looking but you guys can kind of see the concept so here's uh, Johnny transacting with Fred Fred transacted with Phil and Jeff and Phil and Jeff they both transacted with this guy at some point in time and this guy made a lot of business so he transacted with this guy this guy and this guy he has his own ledger and the guy he transacted with here transacted with him and he transacted with him and he transacted with him and he just transacted with everyone 
and it got mixed up with it. So it's like a tangle. That's why they call it a tangle. So this person, it may have been his very first transaction and say this was his first transaction. But as soon as they convert with someone who's already been on the tangle, that's when it becomes on the blockchain and it's it's confirmed. So it's crazy fast. Um, it, it works at about eight or nine transactions per second. I mean, I know that, or I, you think that sounds slow, um, but that's that's pretty fast, especially how it works, is you're providing the proof of work, that's why it's a free um, or fee-less cryptocurrency. Um, let's see. What did I, didn't you already describe this? You can also go onto their main net feed, click on any transaction you want. See, this is the current transactions per second. Um, yeah, it just tells you a little bit about the transaction. So yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you guys get notified every time I make a new video. And go ahead and leave a comment in the description what you think about IOTA. Why you why you like it, dislike it, you think it's going to be disruptive. Just tell me what you think about it and we can exchange our thoughts. I mean, um, yeah, if you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll be making some more videos in the future. Thanks, guys.